I'm Milos from hotjunointerface.com. Uh, in this tutorial, I uh, will show you how to install uh, our template together with demo data on your server. If uh, your server uh, have control panel software installed, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, install it uh, easier. Uh, we have uh, another uh, tutorial uh, uh, for you prepared, so make sure that you follow this tutorial, not uh, this one. Uh, uh, this tutorial uh, uh, is universal for uh, all hostings. Uh, we will use uh, FTP software called FileZilla. I will show you that later. So for start, uh, let's download template first from our uh, club section. Club section from our website. I will log in there. Click downloads click available downloads and for example I will download template HUD's portal if I click on its name download will start I already uh, downloaded it and it's on my computer uh, the archive I have downloaded uh, is named as HUD's portal unzip first as its name says you must unzip it somehow first on your computer. If you are on Windows you can double click on the icon it will show you the content of the archive. Uh, I need hot portal hot start file from here so I will copy it and paste to this folder in example. So now I have file hot portal hot start. I uh, uh, This file is also a zipper here so I need to unzip that as well I will create uh, I will create a, a folder here I will call it portal and I will move hot start in there and unzip it in this portal folder double click A then copy get back to portal and paste it will take some time because there are many many files uh, in the meantime I uh, will show you how to uh, download and install FTP software if you don't already have one. Uh, in this example I uh, I have used the uh, FileZilla, the free FTP solution. It's on FileZilla project.org. You can download it here. It's all is uh, it's all also available for Macintosh. I have already installed it, this software and this is how it looks. Uh, I should uh, connect to my server first. I will click on this site manager icon then new site host is host user and password is given to you by your web host provider so I will uh, I will uh, type host there then select logon type normal type user there and my password in this way. You should obtain this data from your web hosting provider. Now I will click OK and it will connect to my uh, web space. This is the root folder of my web, web space. It's called HTTP Ducks.com just ATP, a, HTTP Ducks and I will see the content of the root folder of my site. This is what you see when you type uh, in example www.mysite.com I can uh, upload template there but uh, for this tutorial I will create new folder because uh, if I want to install it in the root I should delete all those files I don't from the root. 
I already have something there, so I don't want to delete it. That I will create a new subfolder. I will select this two dots, then right click, create directory. I will name it Sportal, and click OK. So I will update, upload uh, a files to the Sportal uh, folder on my web hosting from my local computer which pane is here so uh, let's to check if the files if, if the are here is done yes it's on packet I need all those files except this one host portal host start is are here itself so I don't need it anymore I can delete so we need to uh, up upload all that we have in this folder portal folder all those folders and files I should upload all that files and folders to my web space so I'm already in the portal folder of my web space so let's find it here in uh, in my local computer it's on in my case it, it's uh, on C drive uh, temp folders portal support this is it I should select all those files and folders can do it but selecting one file and clicking uh, control A for example then right click and upload it will take uh, some time uh, you see uh, there are uh, <laughs> almost 4000 files uh, created for uh, uploading so it will uh, take uh, depending of your connection speed uh, 10 minutes or uh, even more we will get back uh, once the files have been uploaded. Uh, sometimes uh, during uploading, uh, uh, this program uh, might ask you uh, to confirm uh, overwriting of of a file. Uh, an example: uh, uh, it tries to upload a file, then it stops for some reason, and uh, it uploads it again so uh, it asks you for a confirmation uh, all you should do in if you got such message is to check always use this action and click OK the uploading process will uh, will proceed finally uh, uploading of all files and folders has been done you must make sure uh, that you don't have any files in the failed transfer in your FTP program. I have some, so I must re-upload them. I will select failed transfers tab, select one file, then control, hit control all to select all files, then right click and select reset and requeue selected files now failed transfers files are moved to the queued files list so I can I should proceed and re-upload those files I will again select them all with control A again a right click and process queue now I should wait until all those requeued files are uploaded. After that, I'm done. Now I don't have any more files for uploading, and uh, I'm done. Queued files zero, failed transfers zero. If you have problems with uploading of your files on uh, your hosting, please cost contact your hosting provider. Now I can proceed with installation of template with demo data in my case I uploaded files on my server so I will type its address here and subfolder uh, if you remember it was Sportal and I hit enter the Joomla web installer will start you can see language selection here I will leave English click next again click next 
license, click next again, and I should enter my SQL database settings here. You should obtain those data from your web hosting provider. So you need hostname, username, password, and database name. In my case, host name is localhost, username is portal user, password here, and database name is portal. But it doesn't mean that you should enter the same, uh, the same credentials. You should ask your web hosting provider about those credentials or create them yourself in the control panel of your web hosting. That's it. I will click next. If everything is okay, you can see the next screen, screen is FTP configuration. You don't need to enter anything here. I will click next. Site name. Give any name you like. Your email address. Your Gmail administrator's password here. And don't forget to click install sample data button. It's very important. If you do not do not click it, the sample data with template uh, would not be installed. So I will click it and wait until I see the message sample data installed successful. Now I can proceed to the final. It's done. My template is now installed on my, on my server and I can click site or admin button to see how it looks with all those demo data enclosed.